In this video, I want to talk you through how you go about syncing your body clock with nature's time zone. Now, this graph here is basically a graphical representation of typical energy levels throughout an average day on a scale of 1 to 10. It's not based on anything scientific. It's just there to give you an idea as to the sort of energy levels that most people have over an average day. And as you can see, if you follow the chart from left to right, in early morning, you wake up with your energy levels sort of about the middle of the range. They peak in mid-morning, so your energy levels rise as you wake up. They peak mid-morning. Then they start to taper off as you get towards lunchtime. Then they drop considerably, and you sort of reach uh, the lowest point um, just in the middle of the afternoon, generally. Then your energy levels will naturally start to rise again as you go into the evening, and then they'll drop off in the night time so that you can go to sleep and naturally recharge your batteries sort of thing. So this sort of gives you an idea as to the sort of daily energy cycle that you're probably experiencing. Not everybody does. Obviously, everybody is different. Every person has their own slight variations. But this is just to give you an idea as to the sort of thing that you can expect, uh, the sort of energy levels that you can expect to have throughout an average day. And you need to plan your day accordingly. And you want to do tasks that require a lot of energy or a lot of concentration in the morning. So if you need to make decisions, you want to do that in the morning. You want to make sure that if you're going to go for a run, you do that in the morning. You want to make sure that uh, if you're going to start on a long car journey or something like that, that you start in the morning when your energy levels are at their highest. And you want to avoid making important decisions in the afternoon. You want to you know, not have meetings in the afternoon because you're not going to be at your best. You're not going to be able to make that really important decisions because um, your energy levels are going to be um, a bit low. I'll talk through sort of things that you can do at various times in the day in a later video. But this uh, basically means that you want to do sort of routine stuff in the afternoon. You also want to eat regular balanced meals. You want to make sure that your body has the nutrients, that it has the vitamins, that it has the minerals and everything that it needs uh, to perform well. And again, I'll talk a bit more about that in a later video. And finally, you want to get enough sleep. This is very important. A lot of people these days simply do not get enough sleep. Yeah, start the day early uh, before you've really had enough sleep, work hard all day long, stay up late and then wake up tired and the whole thing just becomes a vicious circle. When you're not getting enough sleep, your energy levels are, although they're following the same sort of curve as we showed in the earlier slide, uh, they're not actually going to be high enough. And so when you for example, your energy starts to dip in the afternoon, uh, it's going to dip a lot more than it really should do. Now, I'm sure everybody watching this video is familiar with the term jet lag. It's when you go from one country or one time zone to another and you find that your internal body clock is all out of whack with the actual time zone that you're in. So if you're going from, say, the US to Europe, or you're going from the US to Australia, and that's even more difficult because you actually cross the international date line, so you're even a day out as well, uh, you might find that you experience symptoms like daytime fatigue. You might find it to be very difficult concentrating or functioning at your usual level. You get a general feeling of not really being well, and it can bring about mood changes, generally for the worse. You feel really irritable and tired and cranky. Now, the thing is, your lifestyle, your modern lifestyle, may be making you permanently jet lagged because your internal body clock is out of sync with the time zone that you're in on purpose because you are not following the sort of natural rhythm that goes through the day and you may be experiencing some of the symptoms that I've just talked about. And the way to get round that 
is to get enough sleep. You know, getting enough sleep is really important. And everyone's need for sleep is different. You've probably heard it said that you should uh, sleep eight hours a night. Now, that's just the average and that's just a guide. Everybody's different. You might need more sleep than eight hours or you might need less sleep than eight hours, but you need to work out how much sleep you really need. And once you've done that, you need to sleep long enough so that you can wake up naturally, so that you actually wake up naturally before your alarm clock goes off. Then you know that you've had enough sleep. So you want to go to bed early enough so that you wake up at the right time. And ideally, this should be after daybreak. The way our brains work, dark tells your brain it's night and night equals sleep as far as your brain's concerned. So ideally, you should wake up after daybreak. I know that's easier said than done, particularly if you live in the far north and it's the middle of winter, but uh, there are ways around that. If you have no option but to get up before sunrise, you can actually get an alarm clock that will mimic the sunrise. And what it does is it gradually increases the light in your bedroom so that when your alarm clock actually goes off, it's you know the equivalent of being in daylight or as close as can be artificially created as daylight. But of course, because it gradually gets lighter, then your body is tricked into thinking that it is actually now daylight. And if you do a search in Google under the shopping tab for alarm clock that mimics a sunrise, you'll find a large number of them for sale. Alternatively, if you have an iPhone, uh, you can actually download an app for it. It's called Morning Sun Alarm Clock by Pico Brothers, and you can get it from within the iTunes store, and it is a free download.